So today we're going to build a simple Streamlit app that supports username and password authentication. Streamlit is a wonderful platform to build applications pretty fast and having an auth layer on top of it would be super handy for a lot of use cases that you quickly enter my username and password. And that's it, I'm in, you're authenticated. And if I reload the page, the authentication stays. And if I open it in incognito, it is asking for authentication. So this is what we're gonna build. So to start things off, let's create credentials.yaml file, file where we're going to specify all the users who are going to have access. So we have admin user, this is the email, and this is the password for the admin user. Then we have some cookie settings. The key is extremely important. Now obviously, storing passwords in clear text is not a good idea, so we need to hash them. So let's write a hash.py file in which we're going to generate the hash passwords. And we are going to just print out the hash password. So that's it. Obviously, we need to have the ST auth imported. Obviously, this library has to be present. So let's create a requirements.txt and ensure that all the required files are installed. So we need Streamlit, obviously, and then we need Streamlit Authenticator. And that should be it for now. Let's save it. And then we're going to obviously do it with install our requirements.txt. Most of these dependencies are installed in my system, so it will be very quick. Let's fix this. Uh, and uh, this is it. Now let's run this file. This should give us the hash password. This is the hash password. So let's take this password and store it for later use. Hashed password. So we just have one user for now and we are hashing the password for that. So we're going to replace this with the password. As I said, we don't store passwords in clear text. Let's start building an application. So let's import all the important authentications. We need to import the YAML file because we need to load the credentials. We need to, let's get the usernames. Now open, let's open the credentials file and let's get the config of to be used. And the authenticate uh, requires a bunch of parameters, so credentials, cooking and, cook, and all of these things. So those need to be provided. So let's quickly do that. This should be good enough. And then next, let's have the login done. And then if the application is done, then we just have to work. Well, that's it. Let's run the app. All right, so it is giving us uh, username and password account. So our user is admin and the password is password123. So let's specify that. And there you go. Welcome admin. So let's reload the page a few times. And that's how you integrate authentication into your streaming application.